Welcome to Beardy, Bruce Lee Central. Mike Tyson lost his cool when facing Jake Paul for the official weigh-in just a few hours before the fight is to take place. Mike slapped Paul and was pulled away by security guards, stopping him from doing further damage to Paul. Two men atop the bill for tomorrow night, live worldwide on Netflix from AT&T Stadium. Two eras collide, youth versus experience, raw ambition versus proven dominance. One night, one ring, this is the showdown the world has been waiting for. Introducing first to the scales, fighting out of the blue corner. He holds a near-perfect professional record of 10 victories versus just one defeat with seven of those wins coming by way of knockout. And he fights out of Dorado, Puerto Rico by way of Cleveland, Ohio, USA. He is the multi-talented superstar who has taken the world of boxing by storm. He has defeated world champions. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the problem child, Jake El Gallo Paul! Most follow boxer, the most viral KO in period. I'm truly gonna show the world that I outboxed Mike Tyson. It's crazy. <laughs> they say he's the baddest man on the planet, so let's find out. Jake looking to end it right here, right now. The new king of violence, and his name is Jake Paul. Official weight, 227.2 pounds for El Gallo, Jake Paul. Texas, are you ready for Mike? It is my honor to introduce fighting out of the red corner tomorrow night. He holds a professional record of 50 victories versus just six losses with 40 Four of those wins coming by way of knockout, and 22 of those knockouts coming within the very first round. Fighting out of Brownsville and the Catskills, New York. Ladies and gentlemen, the former lineal heavyweight champion and the former undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, Iron Mike Tyson! Listen, man. It was good while it lasted for Jake. The most brutal. The most vicious. The most ruthless Official weight, 228.4 pounds for Iron Mike Tyson. Oh! 
Ladies and gentlemen, Ladies and gentlemen, the stage is set. Our main event tomorrow night, live on Netflix. El Cayo Jake Paul versus the returning of Iron Mike Tyson. Can I get a quick word with Mike? Can I get a quick word with Mike? Real quick. Mike, just a quick word for you, if I may, for the people at home who want to hear from you. Can I get a quick word? Just a sec, all right? Okay, no problem, no problem. So then when, at some, it, in, when in your career are you going to actually fight a contender in your weight class and not do gimmick fights? I think he just called Mike Tyson a gimmick. Mike Tyson's 58 years old, or will be at the time of the fight. Yes. So as much as I respect him? Mike Tyson will you and his, why did you just call me again? I didn't him? call you anything. Why did you call me? I didn't call you anything. Bruce Lee had the awesome philosophy about life, and he blew me away. Bruce Lee's a killer. You hurt your man, you do as much damage as you can, and you get out. You know what I mean? Without being hurt, less damage on yourself as possible. I used to have so much respect for his philosophy. His philosophy is like the ultimate um, warrior philosophy. Life is like water. Fighting is like water. You have to adapt. Wow, this is deep. Bruce Lee gets me deep when I talk about Bruce Lee. In his prime, who would have won in a no-holds-barred fight? Mike Tyson or Bruce Lee? I picked you. Was I right? I thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, was I right or was I wrong? Hey, I, I like to think you were right too. Yeah, I think you're right. Hey everybody, it's Birdie here. What's going on, guys? Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna answer the age-old question. Who wins in a real fight between Iron Mike Tyson and Bruce Lee? I'm gonna offer you my expert opinion on the matter. And what makes me an expert? Well, I've done martial arts for over 20 years. I started off my career as a boxer, I've done mixed martial arts, I've done Jeet Kune Do, and I'm one of the world's leading experts on Bruce Lee. So that is what makes me on the ex an expert on the matter. But of course, everyone has an opinion, right? So this is, at the end of the day, it's just my opinion, okay? So who wins in a real fight between Bruce Lee and Mike Tyson? Well. If this was a 12-round boxing match with boxing rules, Mike Tyson would win the fight. And I'll tell you why. Mike Tyson, this guy made boxing his domain, okay? He was a specialist in boxing. And he did it his entire life, okay? From when he was a teenager and he became the world's youngest heavyweight champion in boxing. So this is Mike Tyson's domain. Now Bruce Lee was a college boxing champion, so he knew boxing. And I'm not saying that Mike Tyson would have an easy fight against Bruce Lee in a boxing ring, okay? It would have been a tough fight, but I'm giving the edge to Mike Tyson. But you know, Bruce Lee could have thrown a haymaker, you know, a glory shot and knocked out Mike Tyson. It's, it's a possibility, right? So, well, but still, I'm giving the edge to Mike Tyson. I think he would have won the fight on points after 12 rounds. That's my opinion on the matter. Now, brother, if this was a street fight, if this was a mixed martial arts fight, Mike, St Mike Tyson stands no chance against Bruce Lee. As a matter of fact, nobody... No human on this planet would stand a chance against Bruce Lee in a mixed martial arts fight. That's my honest opinion on the matter. And Mike Tyson, he wouldn't stand a chance because Bruce Lee's arsenal is simply too big, okay? He knows grappling, he knows kicking, he knows punching, he knows boxing. 
He knows Jeet Kune Do. He knows all kinds of different styles of martial arts, Kung Fu, all of this stuff. Combine that together with his punching power and his speed, and no one would stand a chance against Bruce Lee in a street fight or a mixed martial arts fight. So, yeah, in a street fight or in an MMA fight, Bruce Lee would beat Mike Tyson. That is my honest opinion on the matter. So, yeah, who would win in a real fight? Well, th there's a problem with the question itself, you know, because uh, a boxing match is a real fight, but there are rules in boxing, right? But in a street fight, brother, there are no rules in a street fight. And Bruce Lee would have taken that to his advantage. And Bruce Lee is someone that had hundreds and hundreds of street fights in Hong Kong during his entire life. You know, this is a guy that was challenged all the time on movie sets or just walking down the street. He would get challenged by people all the time. So this guy was an expert on street fights. That's why he developed Jeet Kune Do, you know, the style with no style, the style that's always adapting, you know, be like water, my friend. So yeah, Bruce Lee in a real, real fight with no rules, nobody stands a chance against Bruce Lee, nobody. Doesn't matter what kind of weight class you're in, small, big, fast, slow, doesn't matter. Bruce Lee would win. But in the boxing ring, brother, Mike Tyson, man, that guy. Uh, Mike Tyson was one of my heroes, and he still is. He's one of my favorite athletes of all time. I really, I love the guy. I respect the guy. And like I said, in a boxing ring, I mean, Bruce Lee would struggle, right? Mike Tyson would win that in the boxing ring. But like I said, the boxing ring has rules. There are points, you know, there are rounds. So uh, Mike Tyson is an expert on that realm. It's his domain, right? And remember back in the 90s when Mike Tyson was offered an MMA fight, I think they offered him like 25 million or something like that to do an MMA fight, but he declined it. And why did he decline it? Well, he's a smart guy. He knows that he wouldn't stand a chance against, against someone in an MMA ring because there's kicking involved. There's Brazilian jiu-jitsu involved, grappling, wrestling, all of that stuff. And Mike Tyson didn't know that stuff. Mike Tyson didn't know kicking. He didn't know grappling or wrestling or all, all of that stuff. He knew he would lose that fight. So he didn't even go there, right? He didn't even attempt to go the MMA route. So he stayed uh, as a boxer, and that was the smartest choice of him, okay? But yeah, like I said, he was offered a, a career. They I think they offered him like a trilogy of fights or something like that. I can't remember what organization it was, but I don't think it was the UFC. I think it maybe was a Japanese organization. Um, it, it wasn't Pride because it was before Pride. It might have been K1, actually, when I think about it. So, yeah, he declined it and he stayed with boxing. And that was the smartest choice for Mike Tyson. What he did, a lot of people can't do. Like, he could really shell shock a person with his lead jab. A lot of people can't not. We could score with that. We could put the guy off balance with it. We might even hurt him, but we can't take a man out. He had tremendous power, and we don't have that uh no i no i uh, enjoyed working with john saxon yeah john saxon great i was very fortunate to have in my opinion the greatest martial artist ever lived yeah uh, bruce lee i'll talk to you about that later probably, probably have questions for me on that but in my opinion i'll tell you right now uh i've been i fought the best i train with the best i know i know great more i know great martial artists and there's, there's never been anybody, in my opinion, like Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee was unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Absolutely unbelievable, guys. You, you, you don't know how great this guy was. People don't really know. I'm talking about martial artists. Right. Guy who knew his stuff. Mm -hmm. the, this guy was... I, I, I don't, I, there's stories I know about Bruce Lee that I don't even share. <laughs> because I have, more, I have respect for the people, other people in the martial arts. And I, it's not necessary for me to name names. 
I know who I know who Bruce Lee sparred with. Yeah. I know. They won't tell you. But I know people he sparred with. I never mentioned their names either. But Bruce Lee was untouchable. Yeah. Is it in the book? Is it in your book? No. Nope. Oh, I don't come on, I, I don't men I mention this, but I never tell the names. Can I get everybody to swear to secrecy? Can you say one name? No. Nope. Nope. Can you mix them up? Can you have a jumble of a name? No, I, have too much I have too much respect. Can I guess? <laughs> no. Uh, you probably could guess. Yeah, I probably could. Because <laughs> sure I know a lot of people he sparked with as well. I wouldn't confirm it. Yeah. There you go. That's fair enough. But I, I, but, you know, I, I, I just have too much respect for other guys. Yeah. In martial arts. I have no doubt he would have been world champion in, in, in MMA. No doubt. He's fluid, he's loose, he's fast, his movement is fluid, it's efficient, it's functional. So many guys are addicted to strength and conditioning, and just get bulked up and stiff and slow, and Bruce was free, his body was nimble. If you ask any fighter out there growing up who their inspiration was, everybody says Bruce Lee. You know, it just makes you feel powerless, because no one's going to be like Bruce Lee. I mean, the things us martial arts draw from today, he came up with a lot of that stuff. Like, where do you come up with this stuff?